Hey, brother. Jay, today I'm gonna tell you the story of murder, kidnap, suicide. Toy Story! <laughs> Jay, here is the story of a town. A beloved sheriff is helping raise the son of a single mother. The child has an affinity for law enforcement and spends as much time as possible with the sheriff, who treats him like his own son, but of course he is not. The trouble begins when a new, highly efficient, and specially trained agent arrives in town and quickly wins the boy over. The sheriff, despite his spotless track record with the force and town, displays uncharacteristic jealousy towards the boy's new role model. The special agent displays extreme skill at his job, quickly improving the safety and morale of the town, but is ignorant to his surrounding and the affection of his young friend. As the sheriff loses more and more face time with the boy, he quickly descends into madness and fails to see all of the good the new agent is doing for the town. His hatred climaxes when he attempts to run the agent off the road and into a canyon with his car. The agent is left stranded in the middle of nowhere without transportation. Since the agent is nowhere to be found, the boy looks to the sheriff to drop him back off with his mother at a nearby gas station. As the boy and his mother leave, the agent, having survived the attempted murder, staggers around the corner of the gas station looking for help, but instead spots the sheriff. The two are immediately at each other's throats, and a gruesome fight in the parking lot draws a small audience, where rumors about the sheriff's attack on the agent spread like wildfire throughout the town. Wanting to flee the scene of the fight, the two hitchhike to a nearby restaurant where they hope to part ways and find a ride home. However, the two are badly banged up from their fight. Man, this is where it really gets good! A serial killer, recognizing the pair from the papers, sees the men emerge in front of the restaurant. With surgical precision, he paralyzes the two with his signature claw-tip syringe that will not release until the entire serum has been injected. Immobilized and unconscious, the sheriff and agent are swiftly abducted. Now trapped in the killer's lair, the pair is mortified at the sight of the other victims, all of which are badly mangled. Wasting no time, the killer begins torturing his new playthings. For the first time ever, the lifelong partnerless agent finds himself helpless and undergoes a crippling identity crisis. He cracks very quickly, is overwhelmed with depression, he frantically tries a suicidal escape attempt, badly breaking his arm in the process. The killer returns, finding the agent in a pathetic heap. Believing his prey has been spoiled, he fast-tracks his murder. Strapped to heavy explosives and completely broken down, the agent is left alone to dwell on his impending doom. Still locked away, the sheriff tries to encourage the ranger to partner up and try an escape attempt, emphasizing how important the agent is to the young boy, how he had unknowingly become the boy's role model. It's not work that makes a man, it's the people's lives you touch. He himself had let his own pride outweigh the boy's best interest and that together they could really make a positive impact. With a revised sense of purpose, the agent makes a second effort. Gritting his teeth through the pain of his broken arm, he helps free the sheriff from his restraints just before the killer collects him for his own execution. Now free, natural born leader that he is, the sheriff frees and rallies the killer's other victims and concocts a risky and daring escape and rescue plan. The rescue climaxes when the killer is attacked by all of his victims at once and is simultaneously confronted with all of the evil he has ever committed. The sheriff and agent then guide the victims to safety and buy a puppy for the boy that brought them together and whose love saved their lives. The end. Toy Story. Now looking for major studio support. So Jay, that was the first of the Rated R Pixar series. I hope that everybody enjoyed it and that you guys would like to see us make more of these videos. Uh, now I'd like to thank a viewer who sent in a picture of a giraffalant, a grizzly eagle shark, and a pig wall. Thank you so much, Becca K. These are going on my set. Boom! But Jay, that is everything that I've got for you today, man. I will see you on Tuesday.